The Battle of Adalon should have been won in a long line of victories for Grand Admiral Thrawn, the culmination of Thrawn's efforts to end the rebellious threat that Phoenix Squadron represented to the Empire. Not only did Thrawn successfully discover the location of Chopper Base on Adalon, but he trapped both Phoenix Squadron and the Masasi group there, inflicting significant damage and casualties on both. Just as it appeared that Thrawn was marching towards victory in the battle, it was snatched away from him due to a bit of bad luck. And by bad luck, I mean an ancient force-sensitive entity unleashing a storm against the Imperial forces on Adalon, allowing Phoenix Squadron to escape. But despite the fact that Thrawn's defeat was due to events largely out of his control, he nonetheless had to admit defeat in the Battle of Adalon to Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader. In this video expose, I will describe how Palpatine and Vader reacted to Thrawn's defeat in the Battle of Adalon. Starting first with Palpatine, his reaction was much more subdued and understanding than Vader's was. Although it wasn't completely connected to the Grand Admiral's defeat at Adalon, Palpatine nevertheless believed it was a good idea to test Thrawn's loyalty to the Empire after Phoenix Squadron was permitted to escape. Therefore, because Thrawn never seriously had his loyalty tested, and he recently allowed the rebel cell to slip through his fingers, Palpatine decided it was time to test Thrawn's loyalty by giving him a mission on the edges of the Unknown Regions. This was a bit of a consolation prize for the Chiss, as had it not been for Palpatine's recognition that the feat was primarily due to the Bendu, the Emperor was prepared to take command of the Empire's 7th Fleet away from Thrawn, an embarrassing demotion for the Grand Admiral. While Palpatine's reaction following the Battle of Adalon was certainly one of displeasure, the failure at Adalon earned Thrawn Vader's contempt. Having no patience for failure of any sort, whether there be the intervention of a Force-sensitive entity or not, Vader had a personal disdain for the Grand Admiral following the serious defeat. When Vader and Thrawn were brought before Palpatine to receive a mission to investigate a disturbance in the Force felt by the Sith Lord, Vader couldn't help but try to humiliate Thrawn before the Emperor. Knowing full well the disturbance wasn't connected to Kanan or the Bendu, Vader implied that it may have been, as a way to remind Palpatine and Thrawn of the Chiss's embarrassing defeat at Adalon, an insinuation recognized by Thrawn and Palpatine. But Vader's reaction to Thrawn's defeat in the Battle of Adalon went further than mere pettiness. It also caused an extreme distrust in Vader, not just in Thrawn's abilities, but more so in terms of Thrawn's loyalty to the Empire. When Vader and Thrawn discovered that a species known as the Grisk was connected to the disturbance in the Force and could have been the result of Force-sensitive beings of some kind, Vader believed that Thrawn might be helping the Grisk shelter a Jedi from Imperial justice. Although Vader confirmed the reports from the Death Trooper squad at Adalon that Thrawn's defeat was the result of a strange creature unexpectedly intervening in the battle, the Sith Lord couldn't help but wonder if Thrawn intentionally allowed Kanan and Phoenix Squadron to escape. Vader's confidence in the Grand Admiral was ultimately restored by the end of their mission together in the Outer Rim, but in the immediate aftermath of the battle, Thrawn's defeat earned him disdain and suspicion from Vader. So there we have it, how Palpatine and Vader reacted to Thrawn's defeat in the Battle of Adalon. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For bad luck!